know it's surreal today because we've been through this back on March the 6th of 2006, or was it March the 4th of 2006? <laughs> uh, we went through this, but more in a ceremonial, ceremonial manner. So to think about being able to stand here legally with you today and to give our son the protection he needs um, is even another level of special. Um, I said eight years ago, I would love you forever. Nothing's changed. I'm going to love you forever. I told you eight years ago I would stand by you no matter what happened. And still here today, I stand by you. And so when our son is standing on this day, I look forward to standing with you again. And let you just as much as So I wrote all this out. <laughs> Greg, you take this man to be your spouse, to share your life openly with him, to love, honor, and comfort him in sickness and in health for all time. I still may. I'd like you now to share your vows with God. I still remember our first day where I dressed to create heat rather than to retain heat. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember gazing at stars, making dreams, saying I do, having families that sometimes didn't understand but always loved, and how we've made life and love as I ask every couple that I marry, I promise you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, that I will never leave you, forsake you, or divorce you. <laughs> Greg and Brian have chosen to exchange rings as a sign of the promises they're making today. From the beginning of time, the ring has symbolized many kinds of human relationships. Kings wore them to express their imperial authority, while friends exchange them as a gesture of, of kindness. Today, however, their giving and receiving of rings symbolizes their love for one another, and the circle represents that having no end. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a ring. <laughs> Place the ring on Greg's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring in God's name. I give you this ring in God's name. As a symbol of all that we have promised. As a symbol of all we have promised. And all that we shall share. And all that we shall share. With this ring, I gladly marry you. With this ring, I gladly marry you. And join you. my life to yours. And join my life to yours. Greg, do you happen to have a ring on you as well? <laughs> I give you this ring in God's name. I give you this ring in God's name. As a symbol of all that we have promised. As a symbol of all that we have promised. And all that we shall share. And all that we shall share. With this ring I gladly marry you. With this ring I gladly marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. <laughs> because Greg and Brian have desired each other in marriage and have witnessed this before God and our gathering affirming their acceptance of the responsibilities of such a union and have pledged their love and faith to each other, sealing their vows in the giving and receiving of rings, it is with great honor and abundant joy that I proclaim that they are married. recognize and respect this union now and forever. And now, please join me in congratulating the happy couple, Brian Copeland and Greg Bullard. Oh. guys for coming. Um, I know you've got places to be. I know we got a really busy week and this started as a group of six of us getting together in a hotel room. <laughs> I mean, small, so hey, thanks for coming. I think we have all 50 states and four countries represented. <laughs> um, 
we do request uh, what we're about to say that this stays private. Our families do not know yet. We want to 